Here's something kind of cool you can do with masks. I set up a tripod in our bathroom, looking in our mirror, and had my daughter go and stand in the mirror in a couple different poses, and then took a couple shots. So here I have one of her peeking in the door, and here she's standing in front of the mirror. Let me go ahead and open those two images. All right. And what I want to do is just copy and paste them over the top of each other. So let me go ahead and, oh, which one do we want? Let's take this one, hit Command or Control A to select it, and paste it over the other photo. All right. So I'll create a layer mask, grab a paintbrush, let me zoom in here. And I'll just go ahead and paint the other alley into the shot just by painting with black in the mask. Now I have my opacity of the brush is set to 45 and flow to 36 so I can bring her in gradually. All right. And then you can go ahead and tweak it, adjust it however you like, make it, uh, for instance, if we want to put a little more drama into it, we can go ahead and do a curves adjustment, darken it up, lighten it up, okay. Uh, let's come back over here on that top layer. I'm just going to play around here and see if we can't alter the feel of this piece. So I'm going to darken up the corners. Maybe this version of her in the background. We can go ahead and remove some of the color. I'll make it a black and white. But I don't want a stark gray scale, so I'll just adjust the opacity of that. Just to give her a little bit of color. Let me duplicate that background layer and see if we can't do something else. Maybe fuzz her out a little bit. noise, make it a little less distinct, maybe add a little blur, let's see what that does, uh, let's just do a surface blur, nope, that's not really going to do a whole lot. Actually, that did help a little bit. Let me zoom in a little bit. Now she's a little too indistinct. I can go ahead and create a mask. Again, with a black brush. Come in here and just give her some of her features back. For instance, her eyes. So on and so forth. So anyway, um, that's just a quick, easy thing you can do with masks. I do this primarily for practice when I'm showing people how masks actually work and I can create a you know effect that'll please my daughter in the process so I hope you enjoyed it